We are live. Welcome, everyone, in the Magic Online Halloween Party. I'm here today with this magnificent woman. Look at her costume. Hello. <laughs> this is, is this Malefic <laughs> Maleficent. Is that? Maleficent. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so good. Did you make the, your own horn? I did, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so good. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna open up Facebook Live on my phone because it you can't always see who's doing the commenting and I like to see who's commenting. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm so lucky to be here with you today. So Emma, you um there we are. There we are. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna hold my crystal ball. Oh, what? Talk. <laughs> <laughs> it's little, but it's still about the future. <laughs> um, so you are a personal stylist. You do kind of like the way I describe it, and maybe you could describe it better. It's like you combine body whispering with your your knowledge of clothing and that kind of stuff. Yeah, totally. It's um, all about the body for me. Like, you can you can talk about colors, shapes, you know, fabrics, and they all enhance the body. But it's like, what is the body wanting to wear? <laughs> the body will tell you if you listen and you ask it. So mm. definitely, mostly the body for me. Yeah. Oh, I love that. And so even today, because I've I've done a couple things on with Halloween. So I've been dressing up, but I, I'm like, I don't want to wear the same costume. So I, so today I was like body, like really like looking at the tools, right? Body, what do you want to wear? And um, when I got gypsy, I actually had this, this memory of like past lives. Oh, cool. Yeah. So how fun is it to like add like, so so I'd love to talk today with you, Emma, about, um, you know, dressing up for Halloween costumes and that kind of stuff, but just also like any day clothing, right? Well, it's, yeah, just because it's a specific area doesn't mean it has, doesn't apply to everyday life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but tell me more about okay, your so how do you? It's like so awesome to come no, forward. I know. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I was like, oh. So body, and that that's what, so for me, one of the fun things about dressing up, and I have like a huge dress up box. Um, it's what it's when you get to, you could be something you wouldn't normally be, you know, like this, this sexy, like wicked, like your costume. Yeah. Like you probably, <laughs> you probably don't wear that headdress like on a daily basis. <laughs> I'm going to guess. I just that. wear it all the time, you know. To <laughs> so it's kind of like that freedom to play. I think a lot of people see that. But then, um, and then, yeah, for me, sometimes I dress up as past lives, which is kind of fun to to recall those lifetimes. And, and, and okay, so curious what you would say about this. So bodies kind of have memory, right? We know about muscle memory, we know about uh, PTSD, it can be locked into the body, it can have memories of stuff like that, phantom limbs and all that, all of those things. So what about past lives though? Like what do we bring? So as my body is dressing up as a gypsy and I'm recalling a lifetime without this body as, a, as gypsies, it, it was almost like I was starting to receive energetic information from those lifetimes? Tell me, tell me, go. <laughs> yeah, uh, it just like, I get goosebumps because it's so true. Like our body is the earth and the earth is our body. And we come in because uh, we're an infinite being and we've had so many lifetimes on this earth. And, we're re and if we allow ourselves and we ask questions, we can really tap into all of that history and stuff and move through it and you know embrace it if we want to it's just just because we have this body right now doesn't mean we can't be everything at once <laughs> embrace your evil 
you know, Maleficent. Embrace your gypsy woman. Embrace <laughs> your witch. Um, and do that about the, the day that's not even Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to ask, we have Emmy here. So let's use her to our advantage. If you guys have questions for her, please type them in. I'll make sure that I read them out loud. Um, Emma, I would love to know, so a little bit of background. So when did you start um, dressing bodies and playing with all of this stuff and asking questions? Um, so it was really in high school. Um, I just love fabric and I love the touch and all of that sort of stuff. So I started playing with fabric first and I just kind of gradually moved into like personal styling because I saw that there was a real area where people just didn't know like their bodies were changing so fast and so much and they're like, what do I do with this? You know, so there was an area there where I just was like, oh, I just want to help people feel really comfortable in their skin. So, yeah, um, I really got into it about three years ago. Um, and it's just really fun, you know, just to have that dressed person really nicely and then they go away and they feel so confident and comfortable and, yeah. <laughs> no matter if it's for, like, this really nice ball or just casual wear, it's just, like, yeah, it's just fun. Yeah. What do you notice in a body when they're, what they're wearing is really congruent with what they would like to be wearing? It's kind of a relaxing, like the body just like relaxes and it kind of also shines at the same time. It gets like this really like glow about it and then like this little kind of cheeky, fun kind of side <laughs> comes out. It's it, And it can be different for everyone, but like the body is just like really wanting you to say, hey, just take a moment and think about me for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how often do we do that? How often will we just pause and be like, okay, everybody's like talking to me, but what does my body want? Like, does it want to like eat? Does it want to like touch people? Does it want to like wear like satin or silk or like, leather or, you know, there's all these different kind of yummy things that it can wear. And I, we're talking about clothes, but hello, go nude if you want. <laughs> if your body's asking you to go all natural, do it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And send me pictures. <laughs> <laughs> send us all pictures. We love pictures, guys. Yeah, we love bodies. <laughs> With clothes or without. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, okay. So let's... Let's talk to someone, let's address this like brand new, maybe someone doesn't even know that their body has a, a preference, that their body even has consciousness. It's, it's what, what are some be really beginner ways to start um, opening up that whole different world for people? Yeah, so it's play. Go and play. Go shopping. You know, try on everything that you can see. You know, and then just the, like have no point of view about what it's like to go and try something on that's really like not you because if you just allow all your thoughts and all your points of view about what you look like and what you're going to wear to just go away and just say, hey, body, just step in to your body for a minute and be like, cool today's all about you let's go have some fun try on lots of stuff and you tell me what you like and what you look good in and your body will change if you're being really present with it it'll be like oh, this thing you like it'll just like this thing is ugly or you know oh my god I feel so amazing right now you know It'll like really tell you if you want, if you're listening. Yeah. Wow, cool. 
So body language, how you feel. These are these are awesome tips. So what questions were you asking when you chose this costume? Well, my main one was, what's going to be fun? <laughs> Like, what's gonna be amazingly fun and just like yeah so outrageously out there that I can <laughs> do. I'm like mm, you know the corpse is bright that would be really fun but it's not like really popping but it's been talking to me and then I'm like mm, maybe like Catwoman because she's kind of cool and she's like you know I'll just love cats because they're like so in their body and so like yeah present but then I'm like hmm, no let's do a little bit of evil <laughs> a bit of mischief. and I'm like oh Maleficent you know she like was like yeah do that so I was like okay and then I was like okay I'm gonna make this headdress so I made this headdress last night and finished it this morning because <laughs> I gotta like Good. dig it to my head right. <laughs> And, and this morning I was like, okay, what time am I getting up, buddy? Okay, 6.30. <laughs> I got up at 6.30 to do my makeup. And I'm like, you guys, makeup can be hard. <laughs> but it's so worth <laughs> Sorry. So, yes, I've been doing this for like two hours. Wow, you're amazing. You're amazing. Ah. Um, okay, so what what could you say to those people that are they get kind of embarrassed dressing up for Halloween? Like that they're going they know they're going to a party or they're going out with their kids, their kids want them to dress up, whatever it is. They 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 they're compelled to dress up, but they're like, This is embarrassing, I feel really awkward. Like what little tips could you give them or tricks could you give those people? Well, I know for me that, like, it can be a totally out-of-body experience if that's the case. Like, you'd be so terrified that you're dressing up, it's different, and it's not you, so you're, like, choose to get out <laughs> of your body for a little bit. So my tip would be, what if you could just come back and be really present with it because how much fun can you actually have you know, everybody probably thinks that they look stupid or, like, they're ugly or whatever. But what if that wasn't true? Like, what if it was a complete lie that you're living that, you know, mm. you're uncomfortable? What if what you've bought as uncomfortable was actually, like, really fun and you it's, like, really enjoy, um, enjoyful, like, joyful and yeah so that's one tip come back and just really be present and be like okay what what am i buying here that's not true and i mean is it really you like the outfit that you've chosen to wear for halloween or any party that you go to that requires like dressing up is it really fun because if it's fun for you and like what you're wearing, you're going to embrace it and you're going to love it and you're just going to have the best time. But if you're choosing that it's not for you, what you want to wear, you're not going to have as much fun. So, yeah, really check in. Give yourself a couple of weeks or days or whatever to choose an outfit that you really are going to have fun in instead of leaving it to the last minute. Mm -hmm. Leave it to the last minute. You're not going to have as much fun as because you're like, Ah, I don't know. That's me. <laughs> I gotta, like prepare. <laughs> yeah. When was scr scrambling? What is going to be fun? What What does your body want to wear? You know, don't take yourself too seriously because life isn't supposed to be serious. <laughs> it's supposed to be fun. <laughs> Just to you know, there it goes. <laughs> Yeah. So is that something you bring in? So you're working with someone on, um, you know, everyday wear or maybe their professional wear, whatever that is. Do you invite a lot of that, like 
not take yourself so seriously? Like how, how serious do people take bodies and aesthetics? Oh, people take their body so seriously. <laughs> and you can tell when people come in and get styled, they have this idea of what they look like, what they're supposed to look like, you know, what clothes they have to wear because, you know, they're a mum or they're like, mm. you know, some guy that is always in suits. And they don't allow themselves to like ever step out of that role. So when they come in for styling, they're lots of points of view and it's just like hey what if this was just for you today what if this could be fun and it's really like just like go I'm going to choose some outfits for you we're going to try them on you're going to see what they look like and if you don't like them what else is there <laughs> you know it's not it's not the end of the world if you don't like something it's just like what's next you know, I had a lady, um, she always wears dresses and she was a bigger lady and had a bigger bottom and she had never worn pants. And she came in and I'm like, well, let's get you in some pants, woman. <laughs> <laughs> so I got her a pants and a nice top and she loved it, you know, and she came back and bought like more pants. And it's just <laughs> like, what have you defined as you that actually isn't that if you allowed yourself to be what you actually and what your body actually like to wear would create something totally different for you you know yeah and it's always getting over that image of yourself and just yeah trying something new trying something different so was that hard like was that hard for her was she in resistance to <laughs> um it, it was a little resistance um it was quite easy to get her in the pants and a nice top um and then it was then just sitting with her and saying, you know, your body is your body. You know, if you don't like the pants, that's awesome. But is it really about the pants or is it about your points of view that you have judged your body as? And really just like talking to people from a different point of view about the instead of focusing on the clothing, it's focusing on, you know, what's sticking them from having the life that they could truly be having with their body and with their wardrobe. Oh, I love it so much. Yeah. So good. Okay, we got lots of hearts. Again, if guys, if any of you guys have questions for Emma, she's at your disposal right now. Yeah, guys. Alicia's like is brilliant. <laughs> bodies, fabrics, colors. Fabrics. Yeah. Okay, so let's look yeah so let's say someone is like oh my god i need to change everything right like i knew me new wardrobe whatever um what's the starting point the starting point would be go get your bars wrong <laughs> it's okay but really the, the part is looking at yourself in the mirror and just being like okay this is what I look like. Well, this is what I think I look like in the mirror. How much of that can I actually embrace and have gratitude for right now in this moment? And how much of that, you know, that looking at the mirror and it's staring back at you and you hate it, how much of that is just actually not even yours? Just go and stand in front of a full-length mirror naked if you want, clothes on if you want, and just look at yourself. Because um, your body is beautiful. You have these points of view that you've taken on from since you were born that aren't even relevant to you now, that if you actually truly sat with yourself and with your body, you would know that you know, there's a completely different body in front of you. You know, science says that our cells change every seven years. So mm. if this is true, then what are you holding on to that's not even relevant to you anymore? So that to me is a really first step, just really taking a step back and looking at 
and how much gratitude you can have for your body. Um, and then once you can have the gratitude for your body and be really grateful for where it is and where it's at, be like, okay, let's go play with some outfits, you know. It's, yeah, and it's really about play, really. Mm, I love that. Yeah, and even, like, different stores, I think people tend to, they want a totally different wardrobe, but they're going to the exact same store that has the exact type of product <laughs> yes. rather than going somewhere else and just trying it on. <laughs> yes. That's why I love David Jones or Myers, all those big shop complexes with, it, like, lots of different clothing sellers in there because you get so much variety um, and it's all different. So, yeah, that's I, w- I would take most of my clients to a David Jones or a Maya store. Um, okay. And then just, like, specific boutiques. Because, um, you know, guys, I just want to say that it's not about the money. It's about the body and what's fun. If you're thinking about the money, I mean, you're not going to find anything that you like. <laughs> Because it's going to get in the road. They're like, oh, that's too expensive. Oh, that's too cheap. Oh, you know, don't buy it just because it's there as well. Because if it's there, it's just going to sit there and you're not going to enjoy wearing it. (laughs) If Mm -hmm. it's on sale, you know, don't just buy it because it's on sale. You've got to really be present. (laughs) Be present with the clothes and with your body and be like, hey, body, do we like wearing this? It's on sale. Can we buy it? But he's like, ew, I hate it so much. Get it off me. And you're like, no, but it's on sale. We have to Don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Put down the clothing. Put down the sale item. Walk away. <laughs> How much of your closet right now was sale items and you only wear them around the house? Good point. Because they're in your wardrobe. <laughs> and you have to wear what's in your wardrobe. Guys, yeah, just don't do it to yourself. It's like, okay, I could spend this money, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go put that in my savings account and maybe, like, buy something that my body actually likes to wear. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. That's <laughs> anyway. good. You know, in where I live, I I have a great group of like women and we like two or three times a year do like big clothing swaps. Yes. Yeah. So you have like piles of clothing, like stuff and stuff like really different that you maybe would never have bought. You know, you wouldn't have even gone to the store and then you get to try it on and like play with these different so that that's a really fun way that I like to like play with different ways of clothing and and sometimes I take stuff home just to put into my dress up because I have like a lot of dress up clothes. <laughs> I didn't realize that like this week I'm like oh I have a lot. <laughs> it's I mean I'm in Australia so it's quite different for me. We don't really do Halloween or you know anything spectacular. So I thought like we might have a birthday party that does like you know characters or something so (laughs) for me it's like okay what do I have in my wardrobe that I can utilize so it's like I'll grab this dress it's kind of maleficent y so you know don't just utilize things that oh I've got to go out and I gotta buy an outfit don't do that be like okay what's in my wardrobe that I can use today or like you know like you know Halloween that's going to be fun that I don't really have to go and spend money on. So yeah, that's still a trick for it, like your party. Things. <laughs> well, and it, yeah, and if it's already part of your wardrobe, most likely you feel comfortable in it. True, true. No, hey, you know. <laughs> and we have like, I don't know, op shops, they call those over there, where like people donate their old clothing and then the charities oh, yeah. sell it. Second hand, yeah. Yeah, second hand shop. Like, yeah. Second, yeah. So we have those and you can go and find some really amazing things in there too that you can like play with to create different outfits 
for Halloween or things like that. So, and they can be really cheap as well. So you're not going and buying or spending money on really expensive outfits. Yeah. <laughs> or a Halloween costume that you might wear once or twice. Don't know. Um, and then, you know, if you're picking something and you're like, oh, okay, can I add this into my wardrobe after I've finished using it for Halloween? Mm, another pro tip. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, you can, you can still, like, utilize your outfits after you've finished with them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have fun, Clay. <laughs> yeah. I mean you can use that utilize them in different ways too um oh, yes. so alicia, <laughs> uh, alicia asked um do you always match a top with the bottoms when shopping or do you just go out and either get like do you always like put an outfit together or or do you sometimes you're just pulling pieces and finding its friends later so it's a really good starting point to do that to match pants with tops when you're starting out. If you have a top in your wardrobe and you're like, oh, I don't really have any pants or bottoms that I like to wear with this, then it's a matter of, okay, that specific shopping spree, I'm gonna go and find um, a bottom to go with the top that I have in my wardrobe. So it's, yeah, it's a bit of both, but a great, a great starting point, especially if you don't have anything in your wardrobe you lack, is to go and say, okay, I'm gonna go and get some pants and a top. Or I'm going to go to get a dress and some heels, you know, and some accessories. Or, so like, guys, you can go get, like, your suit all in one go because then you're, like, that's your outfit, you know. And then you're, like, okay, I've got this suit. What tie can I wear? What different shirt can I wear? You know, do I need this jacket? Can I wear, like, a different jacket? What shoes can I wear that are different? You know, so you're not always buying an outfit at a time, you're kind of like, okay, so what can I utilize here that I've already got so that I can create different outfits? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of like what the minimalist movement is doing right now. They're doing like mix and matchy kind of stuff. And it's a good idea, especially if you have a limited wardrobe. <laughs> yes, yeah, it is good. Or say you're traveling, because I used to yeah. do that a lot. And you're like, oh my God, I need 10 different outfits. And like, you know, you might not have all the space. So you've got to yeah. play with it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And ladies out there, like you have a nice dress, put it with a top and a belt, you know, and then you've got like a skirt and a dress, like a top. And then your next day you've got a dress. You know, it's, it's not just because... It's a, a clue you have to wear it one way. You can like mix and match, put some tights under it or like hike it up a little bit and, you know, it's a little squat. You know, it's different. Play with it. It's Oh, actually, could you – I would love for you to address this because I remember like being in high school and um, we go out with a bunch of friends, right, and certain things you're – you like there's a way you're supposed to do it and if you don't like – tie the scarf right or what like you're you're doing it wrong and oh my god you she's so embarrassed so how, like i'm like how many people i know i'm just i don't even i <laughs> tied this completely wrong today i'm horrified clearly. <laughs> and, <laughs> but how many of us carry that forward as an adult and we're always looking at am i doing this right is this is this a dress or is this a skirt am i like could i just hike it up and like be a rebel well, guys, if you're looking at it like that, you're always going to be wrong. Just saying. <laughs> so how much, <laughs> how much fun can you have? Seriously. Like, it's not yeah. about, you know, it's not about, oh, she did it this way, I'm going to go and do it that way too because you're just copying and how fun is that? I mean, what if you tie it this really unique way and everybody's like, oh, my God, how did you do that? I want to do that too. And then you can start a movement. I mean, come on, people. Nobody wants to be in the spotlight, right? But secretly we all do. <laughs> <laughs> How much fun can you have with it? I mean, and when we, I know, because for me, when you're growing up and it's high school, you have to be like everybody else, right? Oh, my God. 
We put so much trauma and drama into high school because we have to fit in. Well, it's just high school. When you get out, <laughs> you're just never going to be the same. <laughs> It's just a moment in time <laughs> that you hate. I get it. <laughs> but you have I'm, to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, seriously, like if you're going and following the sheep, <laughs> how much fun is your body having? Seriously. No. Yep. I mean, for um, me. I put on heaps of weight because I tried to follow all the sheep. And I'm like, this is not fun. Why am mm. I doing this? You yes. know? So my body changes so quickly and, you know, and your body can too. So how much fun can you have by being you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. We had a good question in the thread. Um, Alyssa asked, how do you know what will look good on your body and be stylish? Okay, so what is stylish to you? Because every country has something different that's mm. in fashion, you know, and you can follow all of the, um, follow all of the fashion Trend? shows and runway shows and all of this but is that going to create for you is that going to be fun like i love pinterest pinterest is my mm. go-to you know i can look at what's fun for my body um and be like or what is just fun save it to my phone and be like okay i'm gonna go and see if i could try a similar type of outfit to the one that i saved and I'm like, okay, I tried it on in the app and I'm looking at it and my body's like, hmm, it's not quite right, <laughs> you know. And then it's like, okay, so body, what do you want to change? Oh, uh, can we just like wear a skirt instead of these pants? And I'm like, okay, cool. So I'll go get a skirt that kind of matches in with the top. And that's how I do it. And... I love that question, body. What would you like to change? Like when you're wearing something and it's not quite right? That's a great question. Yeah. I just wanted to highlight that. <laughs> and yeah, so you got to really look at what's stylish for you because what's stylish for you is not stylish for somebody else. Um, and what st is stylish for you might not be stylish for your body. And your body might actually hate <laughs> what you think is stylish. Um, and what was the first part of her question? The, the first part was, how do you know, um, how do you know, I think what will look good on your body? And it, that might be, you know, yeah, you got it, go. Yeah, so um, what's gonna look great? You can, there's heaps of things online about dressing for body types and shapes, and you can go and look at those. So if you've got like, Big boobs, big bottom, but a little tiny waist, you know, you might want to accentuate the boob area or, you know, accentuate the waist area. Um, if you have, like, large shoulders, you might want to accentuate the hips. If you have big hips, you might want to accentuate the shoulders. Um, yeah, so there's lots of things. But if you're trying to hide something, accentuate the opposite. <laughs> I, you know, if I'm a bigger busted, so I don't really wear stripes that go this way because it, it's going to accentuate and make it look bigger. But stripes going down is going to make you look slimmer than stripes going across. So when it comes to those sorts of things, big florally prints is going to accentuate something. Smaller prints is going to you know, just blend a bit better. Um, if you've got large pockets and you've got really big boobs on and they're going to draw attention to your boobs, so you'll probably, like, want to stay away from those sorts of things. Um, if you're not sure, you can go, like, monotone, so it's all one colour. You know, 
black black or white white or cream cream or pink you know and just keep it really simple and then accentuate with jewelry and things like that there's lots of tips and tricks um out there to do that and i find a lot on pinterest or you can just um yeah i'm doing uh my website again so there'll be some okay. tips on that too so you can follow me on facebook for now I'm going in a different direction on my Facebook page, but I do have another Facebook page that I'm going to get up and going as well. So yeah, and that's Access Your Style. So oh, I love it. And can I point out something? Cause I, back in the day, did a mass of like, I'm going to learn how I'm supposed to dress. And I did all of that, like, here's my body, like my body shape, all the things. And, and it was always, it, there was always the energy of the judgeable offense of your body and trying to hide it. And yes. what I love is that whole thing, how you just described, you kept, you said the word accentuate like a thousand times. Like it was yeah. about accentuating rather than hiding, rather than yeah. judging, rather than shaming. It's like, oh, what? Hey, body, like what part of you would you like to accentuate today? And then you dressing that way is totally different energy and possibility than yeah. the stuff I've seen online. So, and you know, guys, your body might really like the fact that you might have a really big bottom and it might want you to accentuate that area. <laughs> so can you do that, please? <laughs> please, I like big bottoms. <laughs> please. <laughs> your body is beautiful, just saying. <laughs> you might not think it is, but, you know, somebody out there will love your body. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I love it. Okay, someone else is asking, um, oh, do you have a video of how you did your headpiece? I don't. <laughs> oh, that would have been good. So Pinterest, like I said, is my favorite place. <laughs> there are lots of video tutorials on how to make a headpiece. <laughs> um, Alicia, Alyssa says, stylish is your sexy Halloween outfit. <laughs> she said, I'm observing it. Your body is so happy. Aw. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so I literally was like, what's going to be fun? You know, buddy, what are you going to have fun in? So that's why my body is really enjoying it. And yeah. Yeah. People are um, going to take notice too. So, you know, don't follow these tips if you don't want to be noticed. <laughs> Do you have any tips on hiding and making sure no one sees you? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Be a ninja. Be a ninja. Yeah. Just go um and lock yourself in your room and don't ever okay. come out. <laughs> that will work. That's a great tip. <laughs> <laughs> Because you can dress as baggy as you like and go out. You're, you're going to get noticed. You can dress as black and emo as you like and go out. You're still going to get, get noticed. You know, you can dress in the most ridiculous, holiest, ugliest thing you wear, have in your wardrobe, and you're going to get noticed, you know. So <laughs> just go and hide in your room if you don't want to get noticed. <laughs> Never come out. <laughs> Never. <laughs> so I, I adore you. You're so awesome. Can you give people some tips? So we talked a lot about going out shopping, being in stores. What about, um, you know, so many people are buying stuff online now. They're, they're like, I don't even want to bother with the COVID and going into stores. What are some tips? and tricks you can give people for online shopping oh okay so i used to really hate online shopping the same because you never know what you're gonna get like you can like look at this really fantastic thing you know it's price is right you know it looks like a really nice fabric the you know everything looks nice and you get it home and it looks completely different <laughs> and it's so ugly yeah um so tips, first off, stay with who you know. If you shop somewhere, stay with 
um, like in store, stay with them online because you know the quality that you're going to get is good <laughs> and it's going to fit your body because you know your size there. If you want to try somewhere new, your body is going to know. <laughs> mm. so ask your body, body, do you want to shop here? Is there anything for you here to shop? Yes? No? No. Okay, so where would you like to shop? Body, what size do you want to get? Because not everyone's sizing is the same. And you can go and measure yourself and then follow the guidelines on their website and it's completely different when you get it. So, body, what size do you want to buy? And it will tell you. And generally, it's pretty spot on. And <sighs> if you're unsure and you're a bit iffy, always go a size up um, because you can go and get it tailored to your, to fit you, whereas if you it doesn't fit you when you get it, you can't go and get it taken up. You can go get it taken in. So that's another tip. Um, shop with what, who you know. Ask your body what it would like and where it would like to shop. Ask your body what size it would like to buy. And if you're unsure, go a size up than what you generally wear. And always read reviews. I find reviews really helpful. Some mm. aren't so don't, <laughs> don't be like put off <laughs> with what people say. But you know, people always be like, oh these sizes are too two sizes too small and you, there's a lot of those reviews. Then you know, okay, so maybe I could get two sizes up and I'll be okay. And like I said, you can always get it tailored to your specific size when you get it home. Um, I always like to shop where someone has a free return postage as well because then you're saving yourself from return postage if you want to, you don't like the item and send it back. Or if like the shop is close by um, and then you can just go in and exchange it or something like that. So. There's a lot of fast fashion online and I always avoid those. And you, you find some um, lots of Chinese kind of manufacturers, manufacturers now and they like have all these really nice photos of women in beautiful outfits and they look fantastic. Can you go and buy them and they're really dodgy. <laughs> like the fabric is like not the fabric that you think it is or like, you know, it's poorly made um I always take if there's something I like I'll take a photo of that item I'll go find the fabric that I like and then I'll go get someone to make that item for me so that Ooh. I can have it <laughs> and then you know that it's for you and it's gonna be fun yeah yeah really <laughs> Yeah, there's lots of tips and tricks <laughs> with shopping online. But, yeah, generally your body will know what it wants and what it doesn't want and what it size it wants and what it doesn't want. So, yeah, ask. <laughs> and it's a, it's tr it can be trial and error at first, guys. Don't be put off by the fact that if you get something and it's completely different, um, just be like, okay, cool, that was fun. You know, what's next, body? You know? Let's try again. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, oh, man, there's so many, so many ways we could go. So many questions. Uh, if you guys, again, if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask them. I love your questions. Um, so I'm wondering how, was it easy for you to start asking your body and feeling confident in your awareness with that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not. <laughs> what, was that, what was that like for you and, and how did you get to where you are now? Well, I'm still growing and changing. It's, mm -hmm. yeah, it's one of those things that you still have to be really present with. And it's forever changing and your body is forever changing. And it's 
it's been an allowance of it. It's been in gratitude for it, you know. Um, and sometimes, some days it's not easy. <laughs> some days it's really, you know, shit. <laughs> <laughs> And on those days, it's like, just laugh at yourself because, okay, cool. How many other people are feeling shit right now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and if it's one of those really good days, you're like, okay, cool. How does it get any better than this? You know, what else is possible here? Yeah. And, I, yeah, I don't, like, and if you're not doing it every day, that's okay too, you know. It's. It's not about doing it every day. It's about, okay, I remember today. I'm going to do it. Okay, I <laughs> remember. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Did that answer your question? <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, it's amazing having been able to watch people through different journeys with their body. I mean, experience my own and just hearing someone like you to have maybe like not everyone's born, like perfectly communicating with their body, you know, and exactly what outfit to wear at all times. <laughs> <laughs> that was not me. <laughs> <laughs> it was not me at all. <laughs> it's not you. <laughs> and to just keep, keep asking those questions and, and, I think one thing you've said a lot, which is so brilliant and beautiful that I want to point out is like, have fun. Because the more when you're having fun, it it, it is pretty hard to be significant or to be in judgment or um, those types of things, because you're really looking at having more fun with this, having more fun with this, having more fun with this. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, your day is not always going to be the same. You know, you're going to have highs, you're going to have lows. And it's looking at, okay, the highs, why was that a high? Mm. Okay, someone looked at me and that was a really nice energy. And then if there's a low, okay, somebody looked at me and that was not a nice energy. What else is there? What else is possible? It's like, why did I feel that way in that moment? And what am I making relevant here that isn't relevant? That if... You know, I just didn't have a point of view or was just in no resistance or reaction to it. Could change this, you know. It's always, it's, our clothes only accentuate us. It's our body, it's our being that people are attracted to, you know, and if we're in in the moment and we're enjoying who we be and then we enjoy our body, and then, you know, things can change. Yeah. Mm, that's so beautiful. Okay, you talked a little bit about um, jumping out of your body, especially when you don't like what you're wearing. Or, you know, I've had those moments where you get, like, the worst haircut, and you're like, oh, my God, like, I have to, ha- I have to wear this hair, you know? <laughs> oh, my God, yes. <laughs> And then, and then you said, jump back in. Is there anything more you can talk to about that? Like jumping in your butt? Like, yeah. Well, it's being present, you know, and it's a muscle. (laughs) I think you can't say this enough. It's being present and it's a muscle, you know. How many of you live outside of your body? Your body is not even a part of your reality. You just, it's a meat suit and you're walking around in it. (laughs) How fun are you having? You know, how much fun is your body having? How much awareness is your body having? How much is your body screaming at you to get back in and just be present and be like, hello, take notice of me for a minute. Um, yeah, because if you're outside of your body, your body is going to get really pissed off at you. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, if I could say this, so. <laughs> like, there's going to be pain. 
there's going to be like disease, there's going to be so much stuff. So like we can do a little exercise here if you want. Do it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay, so everyone, I just want you to close your eyes. And I just want you to see where you are right now, whether you're in your body or outside of your body. And if you could just come back, I <laughs> just ask yourself to come back into your body. All the parts and pieces that you've left everywhere in time, space, just ask them to come back now and be in your body. And just breathe in your body and just flow energy up from the ground, through your feet, up through your legs and your groin in your tummy, in your chest, through your arms, up your neck, in your head, out the top of your head, and then down from the infinite space and then come down through your head, through your chest, through your arms, through your tummy, through your groin, through your legs, down to your feet, down to the earth. And then do that as much as you can and just notice how that makes your body feel, like what sensations is it having. And just because you have a body doesn't mean you, can be, you can't be space. So I want you to just expand out to the space that you're in and still notice your body. And you can go further if you like and still notice your body. And you can come back to your body. And you can just say, hey body, so nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm so grateful that you're here and that you haven't given up on me. <laughs> yes. I know that I could be so frustrating, but I'm here now and I'm ready to play with you. Show us how to have fun. Show us what you'd like to wear. Show us who you'd like to be with. Show us what you'd like to eat or drink. Show us if you'd want to go to the gym or if you don't want to go to the gym. And, yeah, you can be in this space. Wherever you be, you can notice your body wherever you be. But it's, and you can, because you are an infinite being, we know that we like to go and play outside of our body. And what if you can include your body in your reality as well? And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. That was so beautiful. <laughs> I almost, I almost want to send people off on that and just, wow. Unless anyone has any questions, um, and I'm so grateful for you. And you're you were really brilliant and very different with this. Um, you are with, with this topic. And I can't wait to explore more and for other people to get more of you. So we're keeping our eye out for that new website that you were talking about. <laughs> I have to be bigger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. And the video tutorials that you're going to start making and um yeah what else is possible yeah. with i mean you beautifully said including your body and your reality wow boom mic drop boom <laughs> boom and and fun and it is it's so it's funny because you see a young kid that it like they're riding a bike 
you know, or they're what, like, they're having so much fun with their body. They're like, Oh my God, I have a body. Like, I'm so lucky. Oh like I get to yes. eat food. I get to like, like even a, a, a baby is like hitting itself in the face, but it's like, Oh my God, look, I can wave this hand. Oh you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and how much more can we have like, and be yeah. like that five-year-old or that, you know, that little baby and they're having yeah. so much fun being embodied, you know? We chose yeah. to be here, just saying. We chose to be in this body, so let's enjoy yeah. it. And yeah. if you don't want to be in it anymore, you can go and choose to be in another body <laughs> if you want. <laughs> oh, I, did, like, I wanted to say because I touched it on, on that like little thing we just did, like, does your body want to go to the gym? <laughs> Does it want to have like so intense, so much intensity of a workout? Or does it want to just have more fun? You know, you know, how much can your body change by just having fun and not being whipped, you know, or like, projected that I can't eat sugar because it'll go to my hips or I've got to go to the gym and work out to have these muscles, you know. Ask your body, you know, body, can we change this? What did you like going to the gym? What did you like eating sugar? You know, I would like to have this muscly body. Body, what can we do to have this, you know? And if you don't want a muscly body, body, what can we do? To have what we really desire, you know, yeah, to have and have fun with. Yeah. Mm. I love it. I love it, too. love it so much. <laughs> ah! oh, it's so inspiring and, and joyful and just that joy of embodiment. Like, yep. Thank you. Thank you so oh. much for coming on here. This was so fun. I think next year we have to do like a, like a, a, a prep like a costume prep and then like the big show because like if people want to see you doing it like whatever you end no. up <laughs> or you make a few videos i think yeah this is what we need to do it's gonna be good like these look okay <laughs> they're so good they're so good it's like this wasn't the first time this was like the second time <laughs> go around <laughs> So, yeah, that's why I'm like, you can go and check out the person on, like, Pinterest to see how they did it. <laughs> They're like, I was like, last night, oh, this headpiece is driving me insane. And my hair was, like, so, like, <laughs> I'm like, just my hair. I could just go with Sandy, you know, with my hair, like, from Greece. <laughs> hey, you sent that photo to me. I'm like, yeah, you could. But I was secretly hoping that you were still going to do this. <laughs> and you did. Yes. So, and that's why I'm like, guys, give yourself a little time to work out your outfit. <laughs> Until last minute, you'll be like, really shitty. <laughs> Yeah, and and you know it's also that little bit of that time and space to add, if stuff does come up for you and to be able to be like, okay, breathe, <laughs> like, yeah, yes, agreed, agreed. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, Emma. I wish I could hug you. I'm so grateful. Yeah. I enjoy you. You beautiful woman. And I've, there's a lot of thank yous in here. So yes, if you guys you want everyone. more, yeah. <laughs> if you want more from Emma, she she's on Facebook. She's doing a new Facebook page. She says, and launching a website in a month from now or two weeks. I don't know. We'll see. And uh, <laughs> just follow me on um, Facebook. You'll have everything there for now. There. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you guys again. Thank you so much, yes. Emma. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Cassie. Thank you. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye. If I can find out how to end the broadcast. Bye. <laughs> I have way too much fun dressing up this year, guys. <laughs>